Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who are new here, thank you for stopping by. It's a channel that gives you solutions to mathematical, statistical and computing problems. So, may you please kindly subscribe. For those who have already subscribed, thank you for coming back to the channel. So today we have a concept in mathematics that is a tip that you can use on an exam. So method that is similar to by parts but a more reliable and a more faster method that you can use when you're integrating your mathematics. So we are going to integrate x squared sine x dx. So by just looking at this expression what comes to the mind is you need to do by parts. But by parts is very very time consuming in some cases it might require you to integrate thrice twice so it takes a lot of time so we have a, we have a method that i would prefer to call it a tabular method it's very simple it's very easy and it's very fast so what you only need is you need to create a table the other column you name it differentiating and the other one is integrating so you make a table right the one that you integrate so what to note is when you are choosing the one to differentiate you need to choose something or a part that can be differentiated to zero so in this case we are looking at x squared and sine x so x squared can be differentiated to zero it's true sine x you cannot differentiate it to zero so you say x squared sine x right so you differentiate x squared the first time you get 2x you integrate sine x you get negative cos x right you differentiate 2x you get 2 you integrate negative cos s x you get negative you integrate negative cos x, you get negative sine x. You differentiate again 2, you get 0. You integrate negative sine x, you now get a cos x. Right. So once you are done with this stage, you are going to include a plus. On the first expression, you put a plus. The second negative plus negative so it will be alternating the final stage you are going to cross multiply x squared with negative cos 2x with negative sine x 2 with cos x right then you multiply you get negative x squared cos x plus 2x sine x plus 2 cos x plus c you are done so as you can see this is very very simple and it's very easy and it's very fast so unlike by parts on this very example or this very expression you need to integrate twice using by parts so in this one you just take so on this one you just take a minute you're done right so i'm going to show you another way or another scenario where you can use this expression 